we at mom's apartments complex where she lives her daily life for the next so many days not counting the time she's in the hospital we are heading up the stairs from e21 here's my mom mom what are you doing today I'm uh, going to the doctor to see the doctor. Which doctor? Dr. Troy. The cancer doctor or the transfer? The transplant doctor. And how has your week been? It's been good. A lot of testing and stuff, but every, I passed all the tests, so I'm doing good. And Frank's here. He donated Frank. his marrow. Thank you. No, oh, I got him. I'm just saying. He's just taking the picture and talking. He donated marrow all week. He's been here all week. Yeah. <laughs> Merrillless. Yeah. And we're going to the doctor here in a minute. Yeah. See you then. Later, Dad. We are now in the apartment going to catch the shuttle. It's kind of my mom's daily life for the last few weeks and probably... Last ten few years. <laughs> yeah. Started how many years ago, Mom? Uh, in 1997, I think. Over 10 years, these apartment complexes weren't even here, and that, we didn't even have cell phones, not everybody. <laughs> but we are going. This is we catch the trolley. We catch the trolley to the hospital. It's been everyday life for my mom and them. This is the wreck area. This is the recreational area. Neighbors. Coffee. My dad's paper. Molly. Watch your step, Mom. How you doing, sir? Take the shuttle to the hospital. This is the free ride to the hospital, and we're going to MD Anderson. Now we're here. Going to MD Anderson. Center in Houston, Texas. I'm those of you teach. First stop, blood work. Checking in. First stop of the day. Time is it, Mom? Uh, it's 11. 11 o'clock. Now we wait. <laughs> Mom's going to give blood. She will be back shortly. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we are. Out from the blood work area. We're going to pre admission. Going to pre admission to admit. His mom goes into the hospital tomorrow. The room available. 99.9 sure that'll happen. We're gonna go pre-admit at this time. Another part of the hospital. And we're off. And going to pre-admittance to have a room available tomorrow. Did this stop? Next appointment, see the transplant doctor. What did we just do, Mom? Admittance? I just admitted myself inside. The and where are we going next? We're going to the barber shop. Have ready so I can cut my hair tomorrow. Uh oh. Well, on our way. See you then. And the 
dreaded part. Leave your hair a little bit. Yeah, look number two. But you look like grandma. Like that. You want to collect those? Next stop, fusion therapy. I'm trying to clean out the port. Get that through already. <coughs> on April 1st, the day before going into the hospital. Where are we at now? Fusion therapy? Fusion therapy. You're going to do what? Can you clean see it a little bit? Clean my dressing. Oh. That's where the transplant is going to take place. With these things here on this side. Goes in there. And that's like a port straight into her skin. To her body. Mm -hmm. Which is underneath that patch. Yeah. Gonna be taking it place out. a week from today with the baby cells and then Four days after that, Frank sells. Which will be the 13th. Which will be the 13th. Mm -hmm. And once again, we do this and we will yeah. conquer. Where to now? Eighth floor. Is it called? Is that fair? Eighth floor of it. The storage. They said 1230. Storage concept. What are they doing? Oh, just counseling? Yeah, I'm going to have to sign some papers. Can you see your apartment from here? Or do you know where you're at? Probably you can, I don't know where I'm at. Way back over there. There's one part of MD Anderson. There's the bridge to the other part of MD Anderson. <laughs> Transplant doctor. Doing a couple of vitals. I wasn't even recording. <laughs> we are in the doctor's office waiting on the doctor to consult with the transplant doctor. Getting ready to do the transplant again. Ten years later with Frank's marrow. Documents my mom's going to have to sign. Because basically what she's doing, this is what she's doing. She's uh, she is basically working for science. The purpose of this research is to learn to give umbilical cord blood along with standard cells and high dose chemistry will improve response. The safety of the treatment will also be studied. My mom is taking part in a clinical research study at University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. And she is doing this to <coughs> have all this be a cure one day for her disease that she will defeat. Yes. Okay. A video journal. Please, please, please. Oh, okay. Signing the consent. Let me yeah, know. that's what we're doing right now. Okay. 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 Oh, you're going to sign where it says signature Holy Thursday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell them to sign the doctors. It's the 1st of April. And it's not April Fool's. That's right. It's April. not April Fool's. Oh, you can sign that. Her. And okay. I'm going to go make a copy of this so you have it. I'll make you a couple of them. Yeah. So you want more than two? Uh, have more people to share yeah, it with? Yeah, my kids. Five. Five of them. Six. Got for me and then for my kids. Got it. <laughs> they can all have a treatment plan so they yeah. know what you're doing. You know what's right. Going on. <laughs>